Netherlands beat South Africa 2-0 to advance to the quarter-finals of the Women's World Cup. Netherlands had just advanced to the quarter-finals of the Women's World Cup, yet star midfielder Danielle van de Donk looked inconsolable. Her yellow card in the second half of the 2-0 win over South Africa on Sunday means she will serve a one-match suspension. Her tears were likely in realisation that she may have played her final match of the tournament if the Dutch lose to Spain in the quarter-finals. But Netherlands coach Andries Jonker had no time for any negativity. The Dutch certainly appear to be contenders again to losing to the United States in the World Cup final four years ago. After finishing above the Americans in Group E this time, they overcame South Africa at Sydney Football Stadium through goals from Jill Roard in the first half and Linith Berenstein in the second. Spain is among the title favourites and backed up its billing with a 5-1 win over Switzerland in the round of 16. Netherlands had to work harder for its place in the last eight, with goalkeeper Daphne van Domselaar producing a player of the match performance with a string of saves to keep South Africa at bay. Her teammates were quick to acknowledge her game-saving efforts, rushing to embrace her after the final whistle. We felt we could have won this game, and if I look back, we should have with the opportunities that we had, but we didn't take them. South Africa coach Desiree Ellis said, if you look at their goalkeeper getting the player of the match, it tells you how well we played. Netherlands was also aided by an error from South Africa keeper Kaylin Swartz, who let Berenstein's weak effort squirm out of her grasp and over the line. Just like Van de Donk, Swartz appeared devastated. After the final whistle as teammates and staff consoled her, nobody in the world has a perfect game, Ellis said. You were going to make her. Mistake and unfortunately, that happened, but she kept us in the game as well. South Africa had already exceeded expectations by advancing to the knockout stage for the first time after its dramatic 3-2-2 win over Italy in its final group game. But the goals from Rod in the ninth minute and Berenstein in the 68th ended its unlikely run. Netherlands went close immediately before Rod's goal when Esne Brut swung in a curling shot. That Swartz had to push over the bar. Rod struck from the resulting corner. Sherida Spitz's cross was headed toward goal by Leek Martins, which forced Swartz into action again. But from her save, the ball looped in the air and Rod headed over the line from close range for her fourth goal of the tournament. Van D. Donk was close to extending the lead, but was denied by the feet of Swartz from inside the box. And Kegatlana tested Van Domselaar as South Africa showed its threat on the break. Kegatlana went closer still, went through one goal during just before the half-time, but couldn't find a way past Van Domselaar. The South Africans ended the half the stronger, as Kegatlana repeatedly burst beyond the defence. Its response to going behind was even more impressive, considering it had to contend. With injuries to Jermaine Siaposenj and Bambanani Mbane in the first half, the Netherlands lineup regained control, after the restart and thought they'd doubled their lead. When Martins turned and converted in the 54th, but their celebrations were cut short when it was ruled out on VAR review for. Offside, South Africa offered less threat as it struggled to get possession and Netherlands scored its second after Swartz era. Next up for Netherlands is Friday's highly anticipated match against Spain in Wellington, New Zealand. It's a massive game and I'm really excited about it because Spain, it's a really strong team, Berenstein said. But I also know that we are a strong team, so it will be like a real final. Actually, South Africa, meanwhile, exits after making a big impression on a tournament where some of the traditional favourites like Olympic champion Canada, Germany and Brazil were eliminated in the group stage. Very proud, Ellis said. I think as a team, we need to hold our heads very high.